Okay, we're back. We're just filling up the smoke box with some mesquite wood chips, and I've got some uh, mesquite uh, wood pellets from my other grill. Just trying a combination of both of those. And we're using a uh, vertical smoker today. It's one of my wife just gave me. It's actually supposed to be for Father's Day, but I'm getting it ahead so I can try it out. It's a charboil unit, and it runs on propane. So I've never used this, so uh, first time cooking on it. I did. Uh, smoke it there last night to get things kind of uh, seasoned and whatnot. So we're just going to get it underway and get things lit up and we'll show you the progress as we go along. Alright, we've got the smoke box in place and we've just lit the flame. Got it on high for now. I'm not sure if the camera picking up. We're going to let it come up to temperature. I've got the meat inside the house uh, also coming to temperature. We'll warm this uh, unit up, get her going, and uh, we'll start this cook. Okay, I'm getting a bit of smoke out of the smoke box. Uh, the smoker's about uh, close to 300 degrees. I backed it down. I've added some water to the water pan. Never used a water pan before. I thought I'd give it a try and see if that helps at all. And uh, we're going to get the meat and start putting it on. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, we'll be smoking some uh, pork cutlets today. They're just seasoned with salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. So uh, we've allowed them to come up to room temperature, we'll put them on the smoker and we'll get things going. Okay, we're underway once again. I've closed the door, brought the temperature back up, seeing a bit of smoke. Actually a little bit too much, so I've reduced the heat. I'll open the door just to back it off a little bit. Let things settle in. As you can see, I've put the meat on the grill. And uh, go from there. It shouldn't take too long. They're very thin, they're about well, half, an, half an inch three quarters of an inch thick so you know maybe about an hour tops I'm thinking we'll see anyways we'll check the progress okay we're back we're about only 10 minutes in normally I wouldn't be doing this if I was cooking but I can't make videos and show you what's going on if I don't open the door so here we go taking a look starting to get a bit of uh, color on the bottom of them a little too much smoke so I'll dial that down a bit more see some steam coming off the water so we're good so we'll uh, we'll flip these over and uh, let them go for a bit more okay my assistant is gonna show us what's going on inside the smoker okay here we go so what I did during the little break there I said I had too many wood chips so I took uh, about 50% of them out and uh, just lessened it that way and I'm just using them up as we go. So the meat is nearly done. It's been close to an hour. It's gonna go a little while yet, but I've got it on only about 200 right now. So we're gonna let it go a little further and my assistant's gonna keep us up in the progress. Thank you very much, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, here we go. Things are starting to come together. I just put a coat of glaze on uh, the upper rack here. Light the glaze and let them caramelize and then flip them over to the other side. So that's the top rack and the bottom racks much like the same. So that's it for now. And there they are, all complete, ready. And we serve these with, uh, family has asked for mashed potatoes, I know it's unusual, but mashed potatoes and gravy with a sign order of corn niblets. So that's what we're gonna have. Thanks for looking.